Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Mr. Crazy X's from Ramen for Two coming back at you with some more The Walking Dead. So, last time we escaped Sheriff Car, Walkers, Home State of Space. Never getting home to Mama at this rate. Um, this sucks. Mama's dead. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Oh. I can stay with you until they find me. That's a good idea. Yes. Very good idea. I'm not gonna leave. We'll grow up. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then. You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. Wait. Sean? I'm Chet. Sean's in uh... We shouldn't be out in the open like this. Um, How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter virtues. out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... It is Herschel. Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Quick, quick. Let's go. For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Is this really... Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Uh, Old Breckin down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. 
Aw. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. I'm trying to do uh, uh, things, yeah. Sean. It's not doing so good. Well, I can help I you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It's not too bad. Tough guy, huh? What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. That is, oh, so that is Herschel. I'm not even close to How'd this the happen? TV series, but... Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Um, I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. <laughs> House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. This is so weird. Thanks. It's not... If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. I mean, what do we do then? The personality we'll probably just have personal. to shoot you. What? We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. What is it? The personality and stuff of Herschel is the same. Very similar. It smells like. It doesn't sound or look like him at all. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? <laughs> Just like that. When a horse plops. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Poor Clam. She's so freaking adorable. Though. I wonder if this will tell us about. I love you, baby. Uh... <laughs> okay, well, clearly something happened with his wife. Hey, get up. Mm. It's I'm itchy. Don't know his name. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better um, get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, way. Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. I don't deal with spiders. Doc? Yeah, nothing bothers him. 
Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. <laughs> That's terrible. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. No, 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 no. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to He is pretty dumb, isn't he? I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Aw, that's so sweet. Hey, Clemmy. Hey there, girls. Hotcha. How did you handle getting through the city? Sure Kenny you just drove. So we passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? This could all be... Providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is... refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Hey, you Clem. having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Aww. So adorable. I can't contain myself. Hey there. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. Mm -hmm. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. Uh, we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Good, good. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See ya. Huh. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Okay. That's cool. Um, Seems like those two are getting along. Do 
uh, talk to Herschel or anything? You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> I don't want to wave at Duck anymore. I want to fucking talk to him. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Lift with your knees, idiot. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. Yeah. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. To the barn we go. That was a quick walk. Hey, Herschel. It's supposed to be clean shaven, but. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh, if there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Well, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. But you better become a better liar, and fast. Uh, Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. I'll get my gun!
to make it if you want it. It's already dead. <sighs> Alright. Guess I'm in this episode here. Coming back with another one pretty soon. Take care.